Live. The cold truth brought to you by Alka Seltzer Plus Cold and Cough. The quads are so important in the men's competition. Components, you have to back up those jumps with amazing skating and then fitness. This early in the season, you've got to be in great shape. So the cold truth from Alka Seltzer Plus Cold and Cough with Max Aaron taking the ice, the 22 year old from Scottsdale, Arizona. Won that championship, the U.S. championship back in 2013, but just missed making it to Sochi. On for the next Olympic cycle now. What would you have me do, Susan? I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. I will empower you to one end alone. To Speaking of quads, to the people of Rome. Max has two planned in this program. He had a clean quad style in the short program, opening again with it right here. Nice combination. a mistake there on the second quad sal. He kind of buckled at the hips on the landing of that jump, but followed it up with a great triple flip. to the soundtrack, Gladiator, and I love it so far. I think it's very fitting. It's the perfect character for Max. It has that attack, and it matches his personality. He said it's a bit of getting back to his roots. He used this back in 2006 as a novice. Identifies with the character, tough, persevering. Man who almost gave up the sport after 2012 with his eighth place finish at the national championships. difficult take off on that triple axle. Now that we're into the second half of the program, Max actually receives a bonus for everything that he completes after that halfway mark. And triple axle being the hardest triple is a huge point getter here in the second half. You have some doubt early in the season, just in terms of fatigue, whether or not you're gonna get to the end of your program? Absolutely, it's so hard to train in the summer and then all of a sudden you're out in front of all these people after being in your cubicle, essentially, <laughs> for the summer. Another great save on the triple axle there. But yes, fitness is always a concern early in the season, and Max is handling it well. And speaking of the start of a season, Max looks better to me right now than he did all last season. He looks prepared, he looks strong. Obviously, he's always working on his polish. He gets criticized for his type of, his brand of artistry, but I see a huge difference. Opening up that left shoulder on the triple loop. You'll notice the score tracker up in the upper part of your screen. Max would be the current skater. He's already at 76.53 for technical elements. The leader, somebody who's already skated, you can see Max has far surpassed that score technically already. It's a rough way to judge what's going on out there for those of us who don't understand the ins and outs. Which is most of us. <laughs> <laughs>
loved that. I think this is a great free skate for Max. Overall, he had a few mistakes, but he hit the big jumps, like the quad and the triple axel. That second triple axel was fantastic. Max did what he does well in this free program. He skated from start to finish with great speed, landed those jumps, but I find that this long program's a little bit heavy. He needs to improve the impression of this long program. I disagree. I love the Gladi. Beautiful setting for the 41st edition of Skate Canada. You two still arguing? Oh no, we settled that tussle outside <laughs> during the break. It's a rare occurrence that we argue. This was the opening quad style double toe in Max's program. Great height, nice elevation, good air position, a small break there at the waist on the landing. But Max has such powerful thighs that he can get really great into these jumps. Look at this unique transition he added into his second triple axel. It comes out of nowhere. I loved it. Tom Zukrychik alongside and the numbers. Look at the presentation numbers here. Almost 72, so well below the total technical element score 155.27 for over 231 into first place for the moment max aaron of the u.s terry he said that he was worried since he wasn't at the olympics that he kind of get washed away and wouldn't be rushing move of the then your grand prix circuit really coming out here and working on the confidence um you know i lost that last year and really just breaking it down and really building it back up and i'm feeling back to my normal self and feel that i can uh, take on the top top men now coming here i wanted to build that confidence and that's a big thing that i wanted to key on and i'm looking forward to getting to cover russia and uh showing what i got